Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word, bro? Let people know we got them 16 shot on visuals. Felly guys, straight out of 7 8 block. Tip battle. Talk to me nice. Um, bro. So, you know, first thing first, I want to ask you about your name. Where you get your name from? And is it like a meaning behind it? Felly, my real name. And, um, Gats, I got that shit from a group home. Like, I had snuck in a little grip in the group home. And from there, we was rapping. And my homie said, he said something like, Gats got the gas, why we call him that? And from there, we just started going crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, we running with that. We running with that. So we ran with it type shit. So you was in grammar school with guns and shit like that? Nah, we snu I snuck my mom's little ass tutu in there. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> oh, bro. You ever got, uh, got in trouble for that? Got in trouble, like, they just sent you to worse programs and shit. You feel me? I was already in a bad program. They just sent me, like, I couldn't go to no public schools, no schools in the Bronx, nothing, nothing in the city. It all had to be Westchester County or upstate. What you have going on that, that they had you, like, not been able to I was to tweaking, bro. Just... Just tweaking, bro. I got, I think I got a little man complex or something. Like I can't, can't get spoken too crazy or nothing. Like I just be, always wanted to fight. Oh, so you was getting a lot of fights and shit in school. Tweaking. So you know, explain like the gang culture in New York, cause it seemed to be mixed with a lot of like Cali and Chicago gangs. And then of course y'all got y'all own shit, but like, I feel like, like the world don't don't see that we got our own homegrown gangs as well like our homegrown gangs outnumber the bloods and crips you get what i'm saying like a lot of people don't know that we got yg's we got 1090 we got so many gangs or just hoods that outnumber all that blood and crip shit but as far as like cali gangs and chicago gangs like yeah i'm crip we got bloods we got crips and all that and it ain't like we just woke up and wanted to be blood and crip is niggas really got sanctioned. Niggas really in tune with Cali niggas. Last time I was in Cali, I went to, to the hood that my set from. And vice versa, like I feel like if you GD from New York, you gotta know niggas in the motherland. You gotta touch down. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's only right. You can't you can't be banging a, a Cali gang or a Chicago gang without ever touching the motherland ever in your life. You feel me? So you you uh is that part of the reason why you went to Cali? Not I sure. feel like, yeah, I feel like it's a part of the reason because I've been banging this shit all my life. It, it, it's only right I go and touch the motherland. I touch the soil. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like I tell my GD homies, when I go to Chicago, come come out there with me. See what it's like. You get what I'm saying? So how was it when you went to Cali? Like, what was, what was the vibes for you? The vibes was good, but it's a little, it's a little different, bro, because as a New York nigga, you know that New York artists get killed out there, bro. Like... Keep it all the way 100, you got Biggie, you got Pop Smoke, you got other artists that's not even, you feel me, like uh, up and coming artist, shout out my son Braun, his man's Bansom got killed out there in a the club. You get what I'm saying? It, 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 New York and Cali, they, 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 um, relationship ain't never been good. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, how you feel about like the Pop Smoke situation with that? Being like a hot artist from out here and him going to Cali and that happened. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie because it's like at first everybody's thinking it's something from the town, like something that might have spilled out there or whatever. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because that shit happens. You run into niggas from your city and other places, but when everybody found out it wasn't that and it was just some Cali niggas, it was just like like the biggie situation all over, but it's our biggest situation, like our generation in a sense. You feel me? Like the same way they felt. Yeah. So you know, like a lot of gangs in Cali, they don't be honoring the shit y'all got going on out here. Like, how you feel about that? Like, I mean, to each his own. I think um, certain blood homies really get that because a lot of bloods in New York started yeah. within the jail system on their own. As far as us Crips, we don't get it as much because, as far as my set. It came out here. It came to Harlem in the 90s, late 80s and all that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It got sanctioned. So it's like, it ain't it ain't too much now. If it's a homegrown set, a homegrown blood set, a homegrown crib set, they might have a little problem with it. But when they come out here, just how we tap in when they out there, they tap in with us too. You don't get that wrong. Like, they don't, 
You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it's vice versa. So do y'all got like sets out here where like it originated out here and spread it to other places? Yeah, yeah. Sex Money Murder. Like one of my homies is Sex Money Murder and he live in the shop too. Um, Sex Money Murder is all over through the South. You get what I'm saying? All over. Mm. It's that shit is in St. Louis. You get what I'm saying? So anything is possible. That shit happened with everywhere. Nantre, a few other pl- shit just grew. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of Nantre, like how you feel about the comparisons to like 6 9 because you know a lot of people even people that don't be knowing you like when we was in Cali motherfucker walk up to you like what you look like hey, yeah you I wanted like to I wanted to kill him because um, <laughs> I wanted to kill him nah I think it's just I don't know I'm, we, we, we two New York niggas with long hair like it ain't it ain't much comparison like I'm anything he wanted to be you feel me like this shit authentic you get what I'm saying like it yeah. ain't no paid for like all the game bangers with me is really my homie since I was a baby so you know, like, do you got a message for him for like disrespecting your city? Um, the disrespect alone is just ratting, bro. Like, that's just horrible. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's disgusting. Um, six nine, bro. He 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 a bad look, bro. Like, I don't even like speaking too much of the man. Like, he fuck six nine. Like, straight like that. Anybody rocking with him? Anybody still rocking with him? All that. So is it safe to say, like, you don't rock with no, no, like, snitch type of shit at all? Hell no, bro. Anything, like, Alpo, 6 9 any, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, that shit just make the city look bad, but niggas that really come out here and, and, and fuck with us and tap in, no, like, it, it's real niggas everywhere. It's real killers everywhere, and it's goofies everywhere. Yeah. You know, I had did an interview with uh, Paparazzi Poe. That's Alpo, uh son, mm-hmm. or whatever, but... In the interview, I asked him like about the woo, woo and cho shit. And he say six nine started the woo. Is there any truth to that? Nah, six nine ain't starting no woo. I think he did that to like stir shit up, bro. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like the woo shit started, and the woo and the cho shit started from like little groups, little gangs that made woo, made cho. It ain't a whole gang. Those are alliances. You get what I'm saying? So a yeah. gang that fuck with woo is woo. A gang that fuck with the cho movement. It's that you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But hell no, six nine ain't start nothing. Six nine, get him out of here. So, so like, what? Why would he say that? Was he mean like he just made it popular or something? He probably, you know, in that song six nine said like woo woo back. I, yeah. But that's a line from GS Nine and them. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I think he said that to be funny though. You know what I'm Do saying? Do you believe though? Like, did he make it more popular? Like being like honest. Probably um globally maybe. Cause as Probably far as New there. York, we all know what we talking about. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I think Pop Smoke really made, made that shit global. Like yeah. after Pop Smoke, bro, this kids getting meet the Wu tattoo. Yeah. They don't even know what that shit means. <laughs> they they probably just think that's an album or song. You get what I'm saying? Niggas dying for they that game, baby. So like, what's what's the uh, meaning with like the Wu and Cho? Like, is it like are those like acronyms for some or? I think they got acronyms. You get what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe it is acronyms. Like I, I, I fuck with both ends. Like I got my boy Kappa, he's Cho. I got my boy Millie Dod, he Woo. Like I don't get into that on the simple fact that that's more Brooklyn shit. Like I fuck with my Brooklyn homies, but I'm a Bronx nigga at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? We got our own situations going on. So what you been like from a different borough? Like what y'all got? Like different rules y'all go about with laws type shit? Yeah, like. As far as like, I know the rest of the world, the rest of Chicago see niggas dropping rakes and doing shit like that. Like in the Bronx, it ain't really that. You get what I'm saying? We don't got GDs like Brooklyn got GDs. We got a, a whole different gang system. Like the uh, one gang could be beefing with this gang in Brooklyn, but they might be clicked up in the Bronx. You get what I'm saying? It might, it's different. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like do the shit from Brooklyn kind of spill to the Bronx sometimes? Yeah, it could spill. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you could like you could go to another borough and some niggas might have robbed you, some niggas might have dissed under you. Now it's going to spill. Like, you think my homie's yeah. not going to take this little 20 minute, 30 minute ride? Like, you crazy. Yeah. So what would you say, like, some do's and don'ts when you come to uh, New York? Man, listen, always have something on you. Just because niggas think it's a, it's a state that you don't got your gun on you. Nah, niggas got it. And if you don't, bro, better have that blade, better have anything possible, bro, because niggas ain't fighting fair. Like, 
You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like when you, when uh people be thinking like New York don't got guns at all, like how is it? Like is it like it's just not as many or is it like they just don't get used? Nah, bro. Niggas niggas got guns, bro. The thing is, why people think niggas don't got guns is because a lot of the things they see is niggas getting cut, niggas getting stabbed. But all my shot homies, any all my out of town homies know when I take them around the hood, they get to see like yo. And you done seen it yourself, 16. Like, it's police towers, it's super NYPD cameras, it's NYPD on every little corner. So it's like this. You see your op and you got to kill him or you want to you wanna get down on him, like, and you want to do it the quietest way as possible and you got your knife on you, you going to do it. You still going you still gonna to get killed. You just going to get killed silently. Yeah. So speaking of, like, knives and shit like that, like, I seen a situation where uh, you had got cut or something like that recently. Mm-hmm. Like, what was, what was that? Man, that's just regular shit, you get what I'm saying? Like, and niggas get dealt with, you get what I'm saying? I got, I done got cut here, I done got cut here, here. You get what I'm saying? This just what come with this. We done been in real, like, knife wars. Like, you get what I'm saying? This shit, like, a lot of the world get to see, like, what happened to Junior, that little kid that got killed by um the Patriot gang. You get what I'm saying? That was major to the world. He got machete down, stabbed down, all that. But if you from New York, unfortunately, bro, that's something we seen growing up all our lives. That was a norm. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's real shit. But the world got to see what we see all the time. Like, oh, that kid got butchered. That kid got poked in his neck. All that. And that's sad, bro. He was a little boy. But guess what, bro? That's what, that's what growing up was like for us. That's what high school was like for us. You get what I'm saying? Niggas getting cut in school. Like, you get what I'm saying? It ain't... It ain't it ain't no way of kill, how I'ma kill you. You get what I'm saying? It's getting killed. That's all that matter to niggas out here. So how how you feel about the uh you seen a situation where like somebody I think he got like stabbed up and set on fire or something? It was like yeah. 17. Yeah, something. yeah, that was that was recent in the recent in the Bronx too. Yeah, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's just one of many, like, ever since the riots and Fourth of July, them two them two events made the city out a lot crazier, like it made us back in time, like it felt like 2015 again, and it's 2020. I'm telling you, like after the riots, nobody's scared of police no more. We just realized we could fuck them up. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you got the, um after the riots, you got, um what else, 4th of July. 4th of July, like 70 people got hit that day. And that might be a norm to other towns and all that, but it shouldn't be a norm with a, a place like this that got so much police. And after 70, it just kept going up. Everybody been getting get back, get back. All you see is viral videos, somebody getting their head blown off in New York. Like, yeah. I see another video somebody pulled up on the, on the look. Uh, and uh, shot him in front of his kid. In front of his kid, yeah. yeah. Niggas getting shot in front of their kid. That's another viral video that happened in New York not too long ago. And guess what? The people. They, there's retaliation shootings right after that. You've seen yeah. that on the news, yeah, like brother go to jail. Yeah, yeah. like come on, like yeah. this shit is this shit is real, bro. You just got to be out here to understand or be in tune, like. So you do you feel like drill music changed New York in a way? I feel like drill music changed the world. Like I feel like, like before drill music, everybody was on some like man, but like gang banging wasn't cool. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think when drill music came like came about. That made it cool for niggas to be like, oh, I'm on this, I, I'm dropping this, I, I, you get what I'm saying? But I'm sure, bro, you, you seen niggas that wasn't even like that in high school. All yeah, of a sudden, they, they for sure. all of a sudden they rapping and, and they like savage being, now. They got dreads, they game banging. You get what I'm saying? So it's like it and changed. They really is out here shooting niggas it, now. It I'm really, like, it it really changed like the world, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like you see what it did to London, bro. Like <laughs> London, I'm not saying London haven't been on timing, but. They teed them up. They teed <laughs> up out there, boy. Yeah, it's power in this music shit. Like, people be thinking it's just a song. For people who strong, man, yeah, it's just a song. But other people, that shit really influenced that shit, bro. Pick up the guns. It, and people don't understand that, bro. Like, we got, like, even when we go live, we got a lot of people that got their little comments and talk about dead people and all that. But they don't know what's the feeling like hearing your dead homie on the song and being like, yo, I don't want to diss back. On the radio, would, though. I'm, yeah, that's even worse. You, you, you walk in it? the club, man. And you want to spin for that. Yeah. Like, you don't, like, you what? You want to smack the DJ, bro. And then, and then not only that, your fans is saying they smoking on this. And that. Nah, it's crazy, bro. This shit for real. This people's real lives. Like, people be thinking this shit a game. They be making YouTube pages, the real uh, redeem shit, the Chiracology shit. Yeah. They, they explain it. They got this shit from New York they and Chicago now. Yeah, it's who killed who. Like, 
This shit, that shit weird, bro. These niggas is weird. So what's your ties with Chicago? I hear that's like like your second home type shit. Yo, that's my second home, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, big guy just, he in the cut somewhere. You get what I'm saying? He just got on the phone. He passed the phone on my boy Prize. Like, I've been going out there since a kid. And my relationship with some of the guys just been stronger. Like, with other artists that I work with out there, it was like, yeah, it's work. But with Prize, Sane, all of them, that's family, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I always say, just how they say it to me, whoever you into it, I'm into it. Like, when they come out here, they tell me, yo, yo you, you cool with, with such and such? Or oh, they good, I right, say less. Like, I'm not gonna be chilling with no Chicago niggas that some of the guys not cool with. You get what I'm saying? That's just yeah. how it is. We've been rocking with each other for so long. It's like, it's real loyalty amongst this shit, beyond rap. So, like, what Shout artists- out 10 Block. What artists in Chicago you rock with, even if you don't know them, like on some, oh yeah, I fuck with this um, movie. Um, all right, so work with. I'm about to work with um Fast Money Sunny. We got Bro, a record going. Boy, shout yeah, out shout out Fast Money Sunny. Shout out Humble Park. Shout out all them going crazy out there. Um, damn, I got a few. Um, me and J15 been talking about a few things. Another one go crazy. Um, me, of course, my son Boss Prize, my son Lil Saint, like that's who we work with. Like that's our team. My block seven eight, his block ten block, we jack ten seven eight. Like we 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 locked in real mob ties. And we got songs out. We got mob ties out. We got one take about to come out. Um we freestyle herbo shit. Like we we've we been going crazy. We've been locked in for years, bro. Um other artists I wanna work with, shout out Billa. Billa show love, you get what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not even I ain't gonna lie, whoever I shout out, bro, whatever y'all got going on, is y'all got going on. You get what I'm saying? As far as Prize and Sane, those is my brothers. Everybody else, I fuck with everybody music, bro. I ain't gonna lie, everybody going crazy. Um, the DCG brothers, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, they go crazy. Them too, yeah, they go bro. crazy. Um, I feel like though the biggest artist to hit New York, out of like from that scene that made an impact, like everybody that fuck with, is um, Young Pappy. Like that's my favorite Chicago artist. Like I'm gonna keep it a hundred. He went crazy. Yeah. His ass had that shit. I got a question though, man, because I ain't gonna lie. I've been trying to find these bitches. Where you get these ones from? Oh, yeah, man. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. Them shit is expired everywhere, you heard? <laughs> shit is, you know what I'm saying? Them like Balenciaga's right shit now. Shit, me. Hello. But yeah, yeah. Them shit is like hard to find. Them shit's harder <laughs> to find than fucking treasure out here. Mm, bro. So do you feel like Chicago influenced New York in any way as far as the drill scene, music? Well, Influence people to do drill music. You get what I'm saying? But one thing, like, New York always feel, where, whether it come from, like, drill music or trap music, is like, if New York invented hip-hop, they always gonna feel like they could do another genre, too. You yeah. get what I'm saying? That's all there is to it. But it's like, I'd be seeing certain niggas on the comments or certain people, like, complain or say this versus this. Like, like what's better, um, Chicago drill music, London drill music, New York drill Listen, bro, why I do that when niggas could be getting money together? Like, big guy in the cut, he about to do a song with Siggy. You get what I'm saying? Like, everybody working together. Like, everybody getting money. You see TJ and Polo G together all the time. Yeah. That's how me and Prize is. The only difference is me and Prize, we wasn't, when we first started off, we wasn't going to no high-end hotels or just anything. Like, we was in each other's hoods, in each other's homes, around each other's families. Like, you get what I'm saying? We, we, we putting our lives at risk. Him coming to the Bronx, me going to the shot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of like putting y'all lives at risk, like what was some of the craziest shit you seen when you came to Chicago? Some of the craziest shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You see all type of Halo guns. You heard Call of Duty <laughs> shit. I'm gonna keep it a whole hundred. You heard? I'm keeping it a whole band. Like, and that shit, like, I love it out there. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, we yeah. got we got chops. We play with certain. You know what I'm saying? But. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got some Call of Duty type shit, but that's the guys, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I seen like shit that, that probably not normal to us. Like, niggas have their guns in the barbershop, like on their lap. Like, I seen Prize just come out, <laughs> you feel me? Like, or, right. or, or like when we go to the stool, everybody drop their pose on, on the table. He like, yeah, go ahead, feel me? Drop my pose on the table. Shit on the and table. The, nah, nah, cause it's all of us though. It ain't, it ain't you know what I'm saying? Niggas getting comfortable, niggas putting on a table, whatever. Engineer not saying nothing. Nobody in the work in the studio saying yeah. nothing. In New York, bro, the engineer looking at you like, boy, what the fuck <laughs> you doing? The fuck are you putting? You get what I'm saying? It's three to five out here for them. 
it's not playing that. But um, I feel like some of the homies seen craziest shit out here when they been out here. You feel me? They pull up more in the summertime, 4th of July. You get what I'm saying? Like, last time, Prize and Sing was out here. We was in Harlem, 4th of July. If you was out there 4th of July, you know what niggas is talking about. Everybody getting hit that day. Right when we got to the scene, a female got hit in her neck. You get what I'm saying? She got hit in her neck. Niggas is still going crazy. A lot of people don't know that. The reason why a lot of people got hit that day, our police was on strike. All the DTs, oh, yeah. like the undercover police, they was on desk duty. Like You get what I'm saying? Because NYPD kept getting in trouble for, um, for like police brutality. So a lot of them niggas got fired and all that. While all that shit was going on, everybody was going crazy. Female got in her head in her neck. Everybody still turning up. Everybody still wilding. Then later on, niggas get to fighting. While me and Pros taking the pick, he like, hey, watch that right there. Wild girls is running, bitches is running and all that. They go into the lobby. He his his fucking Chicago instance hit like, yo, what's going on? Like a, a shootout about it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas start fighting. First niggas start flocking. Pros like, hey, folks, come on. You feel me? We running. Sade, that's one of the, that's the sis from the shot. She kept saying, I want to see the trenches. I want to see what it's like out there. I, I, I'm like, all right, you're going to see the trenches. Once niggas get this showing, Sade, if you're going to see this, you was out of there. Gone. <laughs> da, 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 running. So while she running, I'm like, what happened? I thought we wasn't on shit, huh? I thought we wasn't on nothing. She's like, hey, G, I ain't leave Chicago for this bullshit. I'm like, oh, what happened? We running, we getting up out of there. When we hit the corner, Niggas start, you know what I'm saying? We get out the fanny pack. Niggas start backing out because the second shot start coming. You don't know. Girls is getting, when I tell you Harlem is different, bro, it's like, it's like some paid in full shit. Everybody was outside that day. So people was getting trampled over. Police is not hopping out. It's too many people. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Once, um, once the second shot start going off, louder, bah, 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 we start dipping off. Pride saying, everybody, we all start backing out. We run right into NYPD. Niggas make eye contact with them and all that. Pride's good, like, Hey, for I see why y'all stab niggas out here. You get what I'm saying? It's police on A corner. We get to the car. Shade ass keep running. He's like, bitch, come on. Get in the car. Feel me? Or how y'all say, get in the car. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but but um, we get in the car, whatever. I, I, we about to drive off. When we go to drive off, same ass hit the car that's parked behind us. Boom. Pride start driving. He like, yo, don't put, nobody put the poles away till we get up out of Harlem. Like, everybody's just shooting, bro. Everybody <laughs> up and, like, it's just going crazy, bro. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I, I like that. I showed the guys, like, yeah, you can feel right at home out here. You get what I'm saying? Come on the right night, you're gonna feel right Shoot at home. Us. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, and I'm telling, I'm tell, I told bro, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think y'all was gonna run. He like, you think just because we from Chicago, we not gonna run, niggas, <laughs> bullets. Bullet, like, <laughs> feel me? But... I ain't gonna lie, it was lit. Like, I, I I like New York summers. I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Chicago too. Chicago be lit, but I feel like it's different. Like, I feel like out south, me born bullshit. Like when when they took me out west, it was more like parties. Niggas was turning up. You get what I'm saying? I got to experience a lot of different sides. Like, like people people only see the bad part of the shop, but there's good in it too, bro. The food, the food is good. I love the women, like, like me at 16, no, like, <laughs> come on, man, like, I, the women out there, I'm New York poppy out there, come on, man, shimmy, wow. I know half the hard Park school, whatever, you get what I'm saying, like, I could, come on, man. So, speak about, like, what was going on, you had kind of talked about it earlier, but, like, the looting and the protesting and all that shit, like, how yeah, was bro, it, like, what I ain't gonna the shit lie. I seen y'all was going crazy in, in, in Chicago, like, the homies was showing me, but... I ain't gonna lie, we was going crazy out here. Like, I feel like in the city, as far as like downtown and all that started as protests, and the protests got crazy. Everybody rioting, um, looting, like a lot of different races getting together and fucking cars up. I, I, Brooklyn, it started with protests and same shit. But I feel like where I'm from in the Bronx, it was nothing like that. It was no protest. There was no picket sign. Once every other borough got their turn. The Bronx was like, all right, y'all finished? All right, let's do our thing. <laughs> bro, when I tell you, it was no protest. It was no nothing about George Floyd, RP to that man. But it was just niggas just wilding, bro. Every every hood was out there. You got to see everybody you grew up with, everybody you went to school with, just coming out with Henny, bottles, <laughs> liquor stores, pharmacies, clothes. And I ain't going to lie, bro, that's what happens. Like, you put a bunch of this shit in the hood, you give the people enough anger. What you think going to happen, bro? Yeah. Like, 
Me and 16 talk about this shit all the time. Like, yeah, it's fucked up. They fucking up communities, but that's that's anger. Like, what you expect come from this? Like, this shit, this shit, and this shit for real, bro. Like, and yeah, the the riding, man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. I was out there. You had to be out there to, to live it. You had to, to see it is a whole different, it's different from seeing it on camera and YouTube to be really being out there. Like, yo, this shit turned up. Police getting fucked up, like. And I ain't gonna lie, it's like, what, what you feeling bad about? Like, we had it, they wasn't nice to us growing up. There's the perfect chance to, to, to get back. You think I'm not gonna go out there, stomp a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. on, man, I'm trying to beat helmets off their head, like. <laughs> a little get back, you know what I'm saying? We get we could get back on the ops all the time, or we can't get back on the police. So. Real shit. So how was it? Like, was police really, like, getting fucked up? Because I ain't gonna lie, Chicago, I seen somebody walking around with Chicago police officer uniform that bro, wasn't Chicago bro, police. Bro, what? Niggas in New York had, the, like, the police speaker. <laughs> they trying to talk to um, other police. Niggas like, suck my dick. Suck my dick. Like, you know, regular New York shit. Niggas is stealing police cars. Niggas is, like, there's a whole video, like, in Fordham. Fordham is, like, the shopping center of the Bronx. That's where everything go on at. But when I'm telling you, kids, suck my dick. Boom, brick to the head, stomping police out, all that, like, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I might get judged, but that felt good to see, like, you get what I'm saying, if you a real nigga and you been through situations with police, like, I have been through real situations, bro, like, getting fucked up by police, 17 years old, you get what I'm saying, like, bro. T- get, getting arrested for no reason, like, there's real shit, all, all my friends that was there was scared to, to go to court, you get what I'm saying, because they didn't know what was gonna happen, and all, all type of shit. I got hit by a police car. I got I got smoked by them. You get what I'm saying? I've been in interrogation. So you got with, smoked by Like, really beat I'll up. Beat, like, you uh. feel me? Like, you know <laughs> like, what I'm saying? Fuck you shit in. like that. Like, <laughs> nah, real shit. Like, we've been in, in, in interrogation rooms getting beat up for not saying nothing. In, in ages, we wasn't even supposed to be in there. Like, yeah. this shit for real. So, like, you, you, you basically had, like, a bad relationship with police since a kid? Since, since a kid, bro. You got to understand, like, like... They look at us different, bro. Like, it's just sad, bro. Like, like I grew up in the stop and first era. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's that's a whole. I heard different... they still do that shit though. Even yeah, they do it, but they'll do it in a way that, like, niggas ain't recording. Like, you feel me? They not gonna catch civilians, but it's a bunch of y'all hood niggas. What y'all gonna What y'all gonna say? What's What's y'all argument? Y'all not supposed to be out here. Y'all loitering. They gonna figure out something. But it's different, bro. I grew up in that time when they really went in your pocket and they arrested you for just being outside, bro. New York and police is a whole different type of time. And my experience with them personally, never been good, bro. When I tell you, like, you know, it's different when you go home to your mother and your mom see, like, scars in your face and all, and it's not no gang. It's, it's, it's police doing it. Like, yeah. when I grew up, my mom wasn't worried about no niggas. She was worried about police. You get what I'm saying? She was worried about what the police going to do to you. I can handle my own when it comes to anybody else. Police, they they gonna win regardless. So where exactly did you grow up at? The uh, Bronx. Yeah, in the Bronx, Seven Eight Tremont. What's what's Seven Eight? Speak on that. Seven Eight. Um, that's my hood. Seven Eight Tremont, Seven Eight Hughes, Seven Eight Anthony. You get what I'm saying? That's where I grew up. Like that mean everything to me, cause that's what made me who I am. Whether it's the homies I done lost out there, whether it's the pain I put in out there, or, or the shit that done happened to us out there, like. It's just a part of me forever. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. R.P. Primo, R.P. Crandon, R.P. Chai. Shit crazy, shit for real. So the number, is that like just like from a block? Like Yeah, I heard. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, How is the area though? Is it like, like a residential with houses or projects? or? Nah, or? it's like, it's buildings, there's projects around in between. You get what I'm saying? Um, It's mostly some of my homies is, is like, in New York, it's a, some parts is a little like Chicago where we bang our hood. Like, if we 7 8, we bang 7 8. Whether you blood, whether you crip, whether whatever you is, you 7 8 first. You get what I'm saying? I'll say, I got like different gangs within, within, the, the, within that hood, but we 7 8. If you, if, you, if you against the 8, you feel me? You against us. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't really no is color. Is it like a majority, like, though? Like, is it majority a certain gang? Like, oh, uh, like 7 8 Hughes is majority Crips. Seven A and Anthony is majority blood. Seven A and Tremo is all mixed. But all all three of them is, is yeah. one. Yeah. So like, how was it growing up in the Bronx? Like, as far as like childhood to now, what were some things you seen that changed? Damn, bro. Like, 
childhood, like, definitely seen way more shoeings, but, like, and as a child, but then again, 2020, like I said, been going up again, but growing up, we had the Murma era, you feel me, the We Mob and DVD era, the Pele Pele eras where niggas was getting raw for everything, the BB belts that everybody wearing now, the whole world, niggas was getting killed for those in New York, 2010, all that, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, shit is real. The Mermot jackets, like, they, they got banned in New York because niggas was getting killed for them. That's the era I grew they up They banned some jackets. They banned a certain, like, Mermot jackets. You could look it up. It was banned in New York. Like, they just started remaking You couldn't wear them or they just couldn't sell them? No, no, them. You, could, you could wear them, but not only that, not only if you wear them, you police target. thinking you, yeah, you were target. Police thinking that's robbed and everybody got it on. They, they stopping you all that. The biggies had so many pockets, all that. Bro, what you was getting stopped, you was getting stereotyped for having a certain jacket, bro, at a certain time. Like, you could look at, you could look that up. Murma era, like, niggas was getting killed for those, bro. RP Tokyo, my homie, he got killed for for not giving his shit up. Like, this shit is real, like. So I see, like, well, I don't know if you put on social media, but, like, you know, you had called me. You had a situation not too long ago where you had got cut. Or something like that out here. So, like, can you speak on that situation? Yeah, like, how that, like how it came about. That shit is just a norm. Like, you get what I'm saying? It just will come with this. You get what I'm saying? You could, you could get hit with the gun. You would get hit with the, with the knife. Like, you can't complain about it. You keep pushing. Like, this will come with game banging. This will come with this lifestyle. This will come with getting a little fame. You get what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. Yeah. It's all about the get back for real, for real. So, where exactly did you get cut? Like, how did how did the situation play out? Shit, I got cut. Not too far from the eight, you get what I'm saying? A little, a little situation. They tried to pop on one of the females I was with, and I wasn't going for that. I didn't even know I was cut to do got up out of there, you get what I'm saying? But he got packed up for sure. I got cut there. I've been cut here before here by the seven, eight tag. You get what I'm saying? It's real yeah. scars. I done got, you feel me? I got cracked on my head, all type of shit. And like I said, nothing, nothing is, is what happened is, is your get back yeah and everything get paid for all the time for sure so you know how is it with like the knives versus guns like what's 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 it, to that how is it with like the knives versus guns out here like is it more people with knives or more people with guns it, I, I think it all depends the situation bro you get what I'm saying like if you just go into the store you might just have your little knife on you you might run into a little but if you going to a certain, you going to tight fall, or you, you feel me, you, I'm going to a different borough, I'm going, yeah, I'm, I'm having it on me all the time, you get what I'm saying? But like, if you go somewhere damn town where it's super, you might, you might think, I right, might just need the pokey on me, you feel me? I don't need the hammer on me, it, it all depends, you get what I'm saying? Sometimes, bro, niggas be mobbing with anything on them, brass knuckles, knobs, grips, all that. You getting hit with whatever out here, bro, like niggas is going to fire on you. So, like, what's the difference with the different boroughs out here? Like, I know, how many is it? Five boroughs. Five, yeah. yeah. So, like, are all of them different or are they just different? Yeah, areas? like, like, if you go upstate, they're going to tell that we city niggas. Like, you feel me? But as far as, like, New York City, we know how to differentiate. Like, some of, some of us could grow, in the, grow up in the Bronx and never have been to Queens. Somebody could be in Brooklyn and never have been to Harlem. You get what I'm saying? This shit like that. But, um, yeah, it's different. Like, Harlem, it was like the flashy, get money, party. You get what I'm saying? That'd be like, y'all, West. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Bronx would probably be like South, where it's like gritty, everybody robbing each other, everybody hungry. You get what I'm saying? Shit like that. Brooklyn, that's like the, where the drill music is at, where all y'all hear the drill music. That's really like the Brooklyn scene. Queens, feel me? They do their thing. A bro, a little different. A bro, slang different. They might sound the same for somebody that's not out here, but, but yeah, a lot of shit is different. So, like, overall on the music scene, who would you say, like, got the music scene on a lot? Man, I'm going to say me. Fuck that. Felly Gats, Perk out now, sure. Subi out now. I got to talk my shit, like. I wouldn't even talk about an artist, though, but you talk your shit on game. Yeah, I'm talking yeah, about, a like, fact. That's a fact. like, a, like a, a borough type shit. Like, oh, a borough? Like, which borough got it on lock? Um, or was it like different boroughs that's known for different genres? Like Yeah, like I think the Bronx is still like we still rap. You get what I'm saying? We still yeah. and and I feel like Brooklyn is known with the drill. Like that's where 
everybody heard Pop Smoke from Fabio, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's Brooklyn scene. So I feel like Brooklyn might got it globally, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Michael, I talked to a Brooklyn artist uh, not too long ago, I'm talking about not too long ago, it was yesterday, and uh, I asked him about like how it is with the Nas and shit like that. And he basically was like, nah, it's what? We told guns. So is it like, is there certain areas that just, yeah, you, like, you really like, need a gun where that knife shit ain't gonna work? Nah, you know yeah, that's a fact. Like, 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 don't get me wrong, bro. That's a fact. Like, niggas got a tote. You get what I'm saying? Especially with our fame, with our, you get what I'm saying? Especially as an artist. So yeah, that, come on. Yeah, got I talked to him, like, he, he you know, gave me a Chicago reaction. He like, knife, what the fuck? Nah, nah we need fact. 16 or better. That's a fact. <laughs> nah, can't go wrong. So, you know, uh, I've been hearing, like, you've been having, like, health problems and shit lately. You want to speak on that? Like, what's what been going on? Shit, I just, you know, shit I was born with and all that. And I just be telling all all the fans that got their own health situations. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, like push through. I like to show them my process so they know they're not alone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it's, like, a street kid, whether it's a kid dealing with health. You get what I'm saying? Like, my, my music push people through shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So what it what is it that you going through? Is it something you want to speak about or? Nah, it's just like it's just shit I was born with, like kidney, bladder, like like inside stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's what it is. So how was how was the uh, journey for you as far as like trying to get your your health right? Like is it something that's hard that you going through? Is it something you can handle? Yeah, like like I feel like I feel like everything gonna get better within time. You get what I'm saying? Like hospital a few days, but. It's like, it, it's nothing major to a giant. You, that's how you gotta see it. You gotta push through everything. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So you had a situation where like, you had died before or something like that? Yeah, like I, I was I was dead at birth, bro. Like pronounced dead at birth. Like that's how bad my hope was as a kid. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why, you know what I'm saying? You always gotta give a shout out to your moms because they deal with anything we put them through. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. How was it for her? When when that when that situation happened, shit, like, bro, it's hard, bro, cause she a single mother. She already got two kids. You get what I'm saying? We grew up in in, in Puerto Rico. Like I was born in Puerto Rico. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and yeah, the Bronx is hard, but Puerto Rico's the slums. Like little niggas running around there barefoot and all that. So you got little resources. You get what I'm saying? The doctors ain't the same. All that. So yeah, I'm sure it was real hard for her. Real hard for the whole family. So I had seen a post. It's kind of funny though. It has said some shit like, imagine your parents moving you from Puerto Rico for a better life, and then you come to the United States and become a crip. <laughs> it's like, that sounds like exactly what you nah, did. Nah, yeah, that's a fact, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's what um, that's what happens. Like, people come from, from like Haiti, the Caribbean, all that. Like, and they they cripped out in Brooklyn. You get what I'm saying? Certain people come from other places, Africa, and be blood out here or whatever game. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That just, that just, I guess, will come with growing up in New York. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, and and just having, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's who I had when I came out here. You get what I'm saying? The lows. So that's what, you know what I'm saying, niggas turned out to be. Mm, well, so like, what would be some advice to some people that you would give as far as like, people that's considering getting in the streets, like shorties or anybody. Man, like th this shit, this shit ain't nothing. You get what I'm saying? Like, like you, you think it's something to it, but what what's really gangsta is moving your moms out this out the hood. Like, what's gangsta is taking care of your kid. You get what I'm saying? Like, none of this shit, other shit matters. Like, getting a name, being a gangster. Like, that shit don't go on your tombstone at the end of the day. Niggas not gonna put the big gangster on this block. I, I like that shit not gonna mean nothing when you die. So, might as well do something that you know is gonna last forever. You get what I'm saying? Whether you wanna play ball, whether you wanna, you get what I'm saying? This street shit, nothing come with this. Nothing good come with this. Nothing at all. Like all, all you're gonna do is, is is lose homies. All you're gonna do is break people's hearts. Like, like you think just going to jail? Like yeah, it, it look. It look cool when the homies just jacking, ah, free this, free that. Nah, bro, you 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 breaking people that love you hard, like people that miss you. You get what I'm saying? A coffin, all that. Like, w w what's that for? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, get in the street. Like, we in 2020, bro. Like, by now, niggas should know. Like, this shit, this shit don't take you nowhere, bro. You get what I'm saying? At all. Like at all. Like it take you somewhere. 
<laughs> to, 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 to death, bro, yeah. to jail. You get what I'm saying? Like, Quit. like, get in, like, get in the street. How? Like, like, what? What money is in this shit? Like, you you gonna scam? Like, at the end of the day, yeah, it's money now, but it it only la It don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you see, sixteen got a business. He could have easily went that route. You get what I'm saying? I'm I'm selling merch, bro. Um, bro you get what I'm saying? Shirts, masks, bro, bro. all that. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like. I came from that. I came from trapping and all that. And I realized, bro, like, if I could do it with drugs, if I could do it with all this, I could do it with merch. I could do it with music. You get what I'm saying? Do yeah. do do your talent. All that, that street shit is dead, bro. Like, like Nipsey got killed. You know, that was one of the realest street niggas ever. If yeah. if he could get killed in his own hood, then then what's, 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 in, what's in the street shit? You get what I'm saying? Like, fuck the streets, bro. So, you know, what you saying stuff like that, and uh, you knowing like the streets kind of like a scam and it's really more bad shit to come from the good shit. How could you say that and then like still the music, still like claim like a gang type shit? Yeah, like, claim a gang yeah. or rap about certain shit. Um, well, as far as music, bro, like I got songs like intro. I got real songs that I'm talking about the bad in this shit. I'm talking about, but guess what? Guess what song pops? A song understand. called Perk, yeah. a song about Percocet, a song about gang banging. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, it, it, unfortunately, it's what sells. That's like, that's like selling drugs in a way. You get what I'm saying? It's just like trapping. You trapping your music, but, um, as far as gang banging and all that, yeah, like, like, I can't, I can't be saying all this peaceful shit and all that, and I'm really out here. You get what I'm saying? And tour with niggas, but I'm also doing shit that's positive, like. You feel me? During the riots, during all this shit that was going on, I'm fixing communities. I'm I'm having gangs that never been in the same room get together and do positive shit. You get what I'm saying? So I ain't just a, a destruction of my community either. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can't just preach it and not do it. Like, I'm really a, a person that's in tune with my community, making sure, like, cookouts, all that, doing shit for the kids, like, back to school drives, all that. I'm not just somebody out here just flashing what I got. I don't flash money. I show it with, with what I do for my community. Matter of fact, I had seen some shit where, like, when everybody's going around doing all the protesting, rioting, looting, all that shit, you had, uh, y'all was riding around, like, helping people in the neighborhood. Yeah, bro, people, I like ain't gonna that. lie. We was helping because there was a, a time that, like, some little kids, like, some little black girls made, like, some, um, some paintings, like some Black Lives Matter paintings, and they was putting signs up, and like there was a group, like some some racist dudes, and they kept knocking the signs down. Uh -uh. So we went out there and made sure they was good. A bunch of gang members got together, a bunch of homies, blood homies, crip homies, all type of gangs, Patria, King, like, and we got together. I made that shit for them on some like, y'all not doing, y'all not doing that to these kids. Y'all not being on no racist shit around here. You get what I'm saying? That was not even my hood, but. We not we not letting that go. Like I feel like if you a gang member, people forget that the blood shit, crip shit, GD shit, all that shit is revolutionary at the end of the day. Really, like growth and development, community revolution and progress, all that. Like when it's that time, you gotta live by that. Like how you how you jacking all this and don't know where it come from. You get what I'm saying? How you jacking all this and and when it come that time, that's real banging, bro. Like like that's how you get points from me. You get what I'm saying? All that banging amongst each other and all that, that shit not cool. But are you on that time when it's against the system? Are you on that time when it's against the police? You get what I'm saying? That's what matters the most to me. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie, I heard like a lot of this shit started with like, how you say, revolution, revolution and shit, yeah. like really to protect neighborhoods and shit like this. But I think the drugs and the money and the territory. Yeah, but look, but look, who brought the drugs out here? Shit. Real shit, bro. It wasn't us, bro. Yeah. It wasn't us. It was, it was, it was them people, the feds. You get what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Like, like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't bring drugs to the. We didn't have no boats. We wasn't making. We wasn't finding coca leaves in the Bronx. You get what I'm saying? Like, police brought that I was out doing here. That shit in Puerto Rico. No, nah. <laughs> nah, but you know what I'm saying, shit. But nah, real shit though. Like, all that. All that niggas brought that out here. Like we we oh, didn't bro. bring that. You get what I'm saying? You know, they they this, destructed this shit, our game. This shit ain't no coincidence. None of yeah, this shit. Yeah, none of this shit is a coincidence. You know, bro. Free Ray Ricky Ross, like the like the real Ricky Ross, not the rapper, but like yeah, the dude, facts, facts. Free he, he basically said like you know he was one of the people that started this shit. He mm -hmm. said the CIA was CIA was handing niggas shit, bro. Like, like um, then I'm saying people try to lock him up. 
If you're from the Bronx, you should know Larry Davis. He's from the Bronx, and the feds was bringing him drugs um, in the Bronx and making him trap and making him do shit. He had a shootout with them, shot like 10 of them. Damn. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's remembered in the Bronx forever. He, he in jail? Yeah, he in jail, but he, he died in jail. You get what I'm saying? I don't feel like that's a coincidence either. You get what I'm saying? They got yeah. that man. He died like, young? He died like probably in his 30s and all that. He, oh, yeah, he was a king in there, but somebody got him killed, bro. Like, he got killed or like they He got killed in there, yeah. like you feel me? But that shit ain't no you get what I'm saying? He probably but, knew too much But that's like that. that's that's real shit, bro. Like nigga, the martyr. So you know, before we close out, is there anything else you wanna say? Messages you wanna put out there, shout outs? Man, like I said, man, fuck this street shit, man. Chase your dreams. There's more to life than 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 these little drill videos, this little shit y'all see going on, man. Um Y'all see the behind the scenes and all, but like I said, bro, he got a business. I got a, like, we, we doing business shit. Like, we, we could easily be statistics, you feel me? We could easily been dead, you get what I'm saying? I want to say, um, RP to some homies I lost in the shot, you feel me? Long live Tutu, bro, you get what I'm RP saying? RP Doski, RP Doski, that's, that's little bro right there, you get what I'm saying? Like, as far as going to Chicago, I, I lost homies out there, like, I lost in NY, you get what I'm saying? R.P. Primo and Crandon, R.P. Chad, R.P. Envy, R.P. All the guys, free all the guys, man, Philly guys. For sure. Let people know who flew out to New York to get out with. Man, man, 16 out in New York, man. After this, we about to take my boy to the fucking trenches. Shame me. Get it bow, nigga. I already know. What the fuck are you talking bro. about? Shop up, too. Oh, bro, let know how to get that, too. Shop up, Love Philly guys. Follow my page, Philly Gats underscore, you heard? Shame me. Matter of fact, yeah. What's your, what's your social media? You say Philly like Gats underscore? Philly, Philly underscore Gats, you heard? You're going to see all the music, all that heat shit. Get right, back. Keep working. Go watch that new video, too, that perk. Yeah, perk going crazy right now.